Always turn out like you planned it. Well, a Tampa Bay man is living proof of that tonight. Tonight, 10 News reporter Bill McGinty has the story of a man whose music took him in a direction that he never imagined. Jack Hartman is busy getting ready for the big concert. We've got about 50 CDs in here. He's expecting 200 or more screaming fans at today's show. You might say that rock music has always been Jack's love. Probably in high school I got into playing, you know, Beach Boys and later on Gordon Lightfoot and things like that. So uh, Beatles kinds of things. And, and then played in, you know, got a little high school band together and practiced and did that kind of thing. So I started a while ago. And over the years, Jack has evolved into quite a musician. You know, I was doing uh, James Taylor and uh, uh, Jimmy Buffett kinds of things and nightclubs and things like that. In my hands, I can but today's crowd doesn't want Jimmy Buffett. They want Jack Hartman. In my hips, in my hips, I can feel it in my heart. In my heart. But ironically, Good. it wasn't a nightclub that gave Jack's music direction and purpose. Instead, it was a hospital. I can feel it in my knees. In my knees. And they had a child psychiatric unit there for autistic children and schizophrenic children. And I went down there and volunteered. Uh, I'm not sure why I did that. What was clear to Jack was his ability to reach children. And so, you know, they'd be wandering off and not paying attention to people or anything, and I would, you know, good morning to Kevin, to Kevin, good, you know, whatever, something like that. And so I started bringing my guitar in and singing songs for the children there at the psychiatric unit. One little fish. Swim. Jack's music took yet another turn when he married Lisa. And she was a kindergarten teacher. So then she said, you know, she was doing the ABCs and letter sounds and you know, sea life and butterflies and all those things you do in kindergarten. And so I started writing some songs on topics for young children. You know, as they're doing the disco dance or they're doing the hip hop dance, whatever, they're singing A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So that gets locked in the brain. Not bad for a psychology major who never took a music class. Stop. Don't know how to read music, <laughs> which I heard Paul McCartney doesn't either, so I guess I'm in a pretty good company there. All right, follow me, ready? So for 20 years, his career was psychiatry, his passion, music. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. All right, you put your right here, feet. And these days, his hip hop rock beat is the biggest show in town, especially if you're three. That's what it's all about. I'm Bill McGinty reporting for Tampa Bay's 10 News. Jack's entertained kids all over Florida. And for more information on Jack and his music, surf our website at tampabase10.com and then click on the links section there. What a talented man. He's really nice.